Hey guys, and this is the final uh, episode, or part three, to uh, the series of the top down learn how to park. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to add some special details, some exit buttons, some go back to menu buttons, um, just clean up the code, clean up everything, and then learn how to actually export it to a file format. And this time, we're actually going to export the project as a Windows Node WebKit. That will allow us to run it on Mac and on uh, PC setups. So this is what we're going to have. So we're going to run the layout, the studio ID, which you can change to anything, the Welcome to Construct 2 logo, the loading, The menu, the ability to mute it, the play, the exit button that now works. And we'll just skip ahead to the game menu, see now. The play, the back button, park the car in the green zone to pass this test. It should be easy. Click that. So we're going to intentionally not park it correct. I've fixed some of the truck physics just a bit. We're going to go over that too. But I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go too far and boom. We go back. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to play it. You failed. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable us to see it. So once we hit the object, we're going to hit back to this menu. So go, let's get straight to it. So on the uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the menu, and we're going to move on into the actual game. So we we'll go to Event Sheet Four, and what I've actually done is you're going to need to click right in the game. Insert new object and go to um, browser. There should be a browser tab. I've already imported it. And it's going to be a little globe. But it's going to be in, should be in media or platforms. I can pop open a new one and we can search for it real quick. Browser, it's going to be in web. Okay, so what I did was I said uh, for next scene, on the next scene. So we left click play. We're going to go to the next scene or level five scene selection. But if we on left click sprite exit, browser close. So it's gonna be browser close. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna be done. So we have two of those, we don't need them. Boom. So we now can exit, okay. Now the next thing we need to do is to go to level scene. That's five. And we need to add in our left button click so we can go back to the previous menu. So we're going to right click, insert new object. We're gonna say sprite. We're gonna place it there. We're going to go to our game stuff. Always have yourself centralized so you know where everything is. And then we're going to go to our on screen controls, sprites, flat dark, and then we have a back button. And I'm actually going to play around with this. There you go. And then you just place it wherever you want. And then you go to event sheet. And you say on left click button, so you're going to add an event, mouse button, on object clicked, click what? Sprite 19. 
And we could actually get rid of Sprite 20 since we don't need it anymore. And we're going to say system, go to layout. Our previous layout was the game menu. Click that and we're done. And then the next scene. So we're going to play this. So we can either go to the next, the uh, first level, the only level in the game, or we can go back. We can also mute the game and go on to the game. Then we're going to go to uh, basics, the driving, invention, Avenge sheet six. Okay. So we're going to actually talk about some stuff here and then we're going to add some more stuff here. What we're going to do is we're going to add, um, well actually let's go over some stuff first. Um, so if it's overlapping the green area, we're going to wait two seconds, then go to level five or level scene selection. On any click, we're going to set our text that's right here in the game to be visible on sprite collision with a red anything red it's gonna set the text to to you failed it's gonna wait four seconds and it's gonna go back to level uh, the scene selection five um, the issue is is that once it's invisible due to the fact that we clicked it you can't see that so what we need to do is we need to set text to so copy and paste that move it to on collision and what we need to do is set that as visible and wait four seconds should it work run a layout just to test it so what we're going to do is we're going to click and say okay we, we got the game we're going to drive oh I go backwards you failed and then after four seconds we hit the menu what we also want to do is make sure that we can mute the sound inside of the actual game itself in case we don't li want to listen to the music. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that sound file, sound sprite, and move it here. We're going to enable the same code as before. Game okay, menu. And that's number four. So we're going to select event sheet four. Copy it. Add comment, music in game, and paste. Play the game, play that level. We can now mute the game, music. We can now drive. Let's see. What we can also do is set text to you win. We go to wait two seconds is overlapping. You win. Do we click? Drive the truck into the scene. Oh, we failed. Got to go back, redo it. Click. So we had a bug there, so we have to retry it. Wait two seconds. We all oh, remember we have to set things visible. 
So in this time we're going to wait four seconds. But also what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do this and then we're going to do another thing that came to mind. There we go. So we're going to do that again. We're going to hit play. How you line up your code does d detail how you actually do, how well you do. There you go. You win. And then we wait four seconds and then you're good to go. What we can also do is we can have the game pause. So on start, pause, game. So what happens is is that the game is paused until you actually click the play. So on start of layout, system, time, time scale zero, and then left click. Let's see. I need to click, click set vis invisible. So what we want to do is copy that, paste it, drag it all the way up here, set time scale back to new time scale one. So as you can see, I cannot move the vehicle. And now I can. All right, now what we want to do is once we hit something, we want the time scale to be zero. And once we overlay something, we want to hit zero. So we cannot, so we're like, okay, we can, you know, we finished the game. So I'm going to try not to hit anything. You win. Okay. Okay, so that seems not to work at this moment, so... Oh. Well, so what we need to actually do is when we enter back into the previous scene, the level scene, what we need to do is actually set our time to when scene loads on start of scene 
time, set time scale to normal. So whenever we enter it from the game, it's normal. So we hit the play or pause. We're going to unpause it. I'm going to hit something. Oop, dang, I failed. But I can always re enter the game. You win. Back to menu. I'm going to mute the music now. Exit. And that's the end of our game. Okay, guys, all that is left now is to actually export our project. So what we're going to do is hit export. We're going to be on our first layout. We're going to hit Node WebKit, publish to Windows and Mac desktops via Node WebKit. Hit next. It's going to be in the actual game, learn, learn to park tutorial items, uh, make new folder, game, hit OK. Standard, I don't really need to minify, minif minify script. Um, it is good to do so though, hit OK. It's going to build everything. Uh, unable to script minify. Um, I actually do have an older version of Java, not the latest one. So that is the issue here. We're going to say OK. It's going to continue, but it's not going to minify. Open destination folder. We have Linux, Linux 64, OS X, and Windows 32. We're going to say new project, execute. We're going to open up that. Here we go. It's going to load it up. Exit, mute sound, and hit play, and play the game. I'm going to crash. Ooh, you failed. Enter the game again. Go back to the menu, exit, and that is our game. Now for our Linux, it has a new project file, dat files, and you load that into Linux. OS X, info, playlist, and these are the things that you're going to actually get inside of the uh, game. So everything that you see right here is everything that you're going to get inside the folder. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it, learned how to export it, you learned how to build a top-down learn how to drive game in its basic format. And uh, from there you can take it on to better and bigger things. So until next time guys, I'll see you all later. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to keep the series short and basic so you guys would understand the basics of this setup and would have little issues and this also contained you know special features, a menu, a game, um, and enough cutting so you could actually get yourself your your hands dirty in the actual engine and get used to the inside. So hopefully you guys you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do some more series and uh Keep watching because Construct 2 is one of the best engines to the engines I have ever seen. I will continue using it. Um, 
for a very long time. So until next time, guys, I'll see you all later.